It was a big day for the future of Rochester Public Schools as the search for a new interim superintendent came down to interviews for the three finalists. The list was narrowed down from 11 as RPS moved one step closer to replacing the resigning Michael Munoz. Our Zach Fuller has this update since 6. Each candidate was asked 18 predetermined questions Tuesday. Up first was Dr. Kent McKell, currently president and CEO of Search Institute in Minneapolis, an organization that studies youth development and promotes equity. Before his current role, Dr. McKell was the executive director of the College Readiness Consortium at the University of Minnesota, where he earned his doctorate in education. He spoke about how to build public trust in the school board in an interim year. I think telling stories would be at the center of what would be important next year, and I think especially stories of resilience. As we're emerging from the pandemic, I think people are, are, are going to be, by next August, really ready to be hopeful. Next up is Dr. Christina Bemboom, who currently serves as Senior Director of Student Support Services for the Eden Prairie School District. She has decades of experience in special education, has her Ph.D. in special education from the University of Minnesota, and before her current role was an elementary school principal in the Sauk Rapids Rice School District. Bemboom spoke about the importance of this next school year. A lot can happen in a year, and it is an important bridge year, uh, and it is the only year that our second graders will be second graders or that our eighth graders will be eighth graders. It is, it's an important year, so it matters, and I would want to hit the ground running with that. Lastly is Dr. John Tyne, who is currently the Director of Finance for Stillwater Area Public Schools. He has previous experience serving as interim superintendent in both greater and suburban Minnesota, including St. Paul, then spoke about dealing with budgets. I don't believe we're in the banking business. I believe we're in the kid business. And kids always trump money, always. And what we need to do is make sure that the needs of our community, our families, and our students, and our staff are met. Zach Fuller, KTTC News. The board will deliberate and choose the new interim superintendent in a special session on Thursday, May 13th. From there, should contract negotiations go well, the new interim superintendent would start July 1st, one day after Munoz's resignation takes effect.